Lola Crosswhite says an experimental gene therapy delayed her decline from Alzheimer's disease for two years, but now her memory loss is progressing again. Even though I've had it all this time, but then I was better, and now I'm, you know, I feel like, well, I know I'm sliding back, so it's kind of, I'm going down the hill again. In 2002, Crosswhite was one of eight patients to volunteer for risky brain surgery to test the safety of the first gene therapy for Alzheimer's. Researchers led by Mark Tashinsky gave patients a gene that makes a substance called nerve growth factor, shown in animal studies, to protect brain cells from deteriorating. The team reported in the journal Nature Medicine that during the two years the gene worked, it successfully slowed the progression of the disease by 49 percent on average. Measured on those same scales, the existing drugs have about a 5 percent effect that lasts three to six months. So that 49 percent compared to 5 percent would be great if it holds up, and that's a big if. Tashinsky says the next trial will use an improved delivery method that should keep the gene working longer. So we won't cure the disease. Again, what we hope to do is delay the disease for a significant and meaningful period of time. The chance of doing that will be greater with the next generation vector that we are now testing in the next human clinical trial. Crosswhite's daughter says she's grateful for the extra time. She's a fighter. She's she does a you know she's not going to give an inch or anything. We're uh, we're going to go out fighting. <laughs> I'm Brad Closa.